lives to die another day. It had a valve seat, a uh, loose valve seat, and a tight, tight intake valve. So the uh, valve got uh, punched around it to reseat it and put it back together. And it'll live to die another day, as I said. So that's that guy. I uh, worked yesterday on getting a trailer hitch wire set up for the trailer. There's the hitch. And while I was doing that, I had a set of um, lights sitting out. You know, the little uh, ones you stick on with a magnet. And I had to push real hard on the brake pedal to get brake lights. So I tried stealing another brake light switch out of another old master cylinder, still no good, so I went and got two new ones. The last thing I want is not have any brake lights. So, that'll take care of that. Alright. The, um, keep those lights out of your face. How's that? Right about there. The, uh, Westy Weekender, uh, Vienna Gone. Uh, went and looked at it after I shut the video off with you guys. I looked at them and said, uh, I think it's in worse condition than you last remembered it. And that it is, um, <sighs> what are you looking to get for it? And he kind of agreed with me. He goes, yeah, I, I can see it. And uh, he, says, he said, how about 1500 bucks? I said, how about a thousand? And he had his hand out real fast to shake on it. I didn't give any money down on it. Um, I... Asked him to go look for the title and get that kind of stuff squared away. And the title, he called me back with the, he had the title. And I did a little bit more homework on it. And the problem is, if it was, I was keeping it for myself or a family member, it would be worth doing. It would be a good candidate. But it just, it just needed too much. If it didn't need the motor done or if it didn't need to have the whole van repainted, it would be a different story. But by the time I add everything up, you could buy them between like five and eight grand. Um, and I'll end up putting three grand and my labor into it. It, it you know, to do all that for a thousand, two thousand bucks for the labor of everything that it needs, it just, just wasn't worth it to me. So, uh, I told my pass on it, but a friend of mine may be interested in it. So that's the story with that guy. Um, <laughs> had to write stuff down so I can remember what I was, I wanted to talk about. Okay. What this video is about is about this guy. Hold on one second. Flip you back over. Okay. This is what I'm going to be towing behind the boat. Uh, about eight years ago or so, I was at a yard sale and a guy had an old wooden boat on a trailer, ratty looking, for sale. And uh, he wanted 200 bucks for it. There was another guy that was all over it too, had the motor and everything on it. So, um, wife was sitting in the truck all she felt was something kind of get locked down onto the trailer hitch I said we have to get home real fast she's like why I said because it's got two um, uh, emergency tires on it and both of them are dry rotted and they'll hold there for about 15 minutes <laughs> so I booted it home made it home on two sloshy tires and bought the boat now this is what the boat itself is called a Chris Craft Barracuda and it would start out they sold them in like Boys Life, um, all the all the the uh, magazines of the time. I believe this one is Boys Life that it came out from. This is the ad that you would have saw in the magazine, and uh, my boat is actually right here. They call it Spectacular 14 Foot Barracuda. It's 225 dollars. Well, that picture doesn't do a very good justice. And then there's a whole bunch of different boats you can get, and basically it came in the box, and, and you would assemble it yourself. So, after you um, went and mailed away for that information, this is what you would get. This would be the brochure of, of what would uh, come to you. And again, you can see an exploded view, and it starts showing all the different boats. It explains how you put the kit together. Maybe it's a freeze frame, any of that. Hopefully, you could read it. Yeah, I'm not going to scan the whole thing. But anyway, um, what they did was they started coming out with outboards and they wanted a boat that they could put on their outboards to uh, 
help with sales because all the other companies were taken off. Back before that, they were both basically inboards. And they're getting a little bit larger, a little bit more detail. And uh, about, unfortunately, they do not have a good picture of uh, the Barracuda in it. But that's okay. I actually have the actual boat. You can kind of see. They're starting now. They're getting up into. You went from the 16. Now you're in the 17 foot boats. All these would come in boxes to your house. Uh, 21 foot. All the specs on it. 26 foot. Why do I always put the camera in my right hand and try to do everything with my left hand? And then there's the 31 foot, which is the biggest of them all. And then they also made their own trailer. And then you could turn it into a utility trailer if you wanted to. Then they got into like um, treasure chests and gun racks and gun cabinets and that kind of stuff. You figure they're primarily a wood, a wood making company, so. And then if you go into the information, I guess mine would be um, the 14 foot uh, deluxe runabout, I guess is what they're going to go call it. And uh, let's say gross weight was 275 pounds, came in two crates. Uh, for shipping, it was 317 pounds. I guess it's more boxing, I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, then all the other boats. So that's how that would start, how you would go about purchasing your boat. And uh, I got it from the second owner of the guy who he worked from. And I started walking over pictures. This is what I came home with. Hopefully the pictures kind of show. Um, somebody painted it yellow. And uh, see a garden track. My, my Gilson's in front pulling it. Uh, no windshield on it. That's basically how you see it. Except for I, I ended up putting two tires on it right there just so it would roll. The tires were shot on it. And there's some interior of it. There's the cockpit. It came with a bunch of, oh yeah, of course there's a whole bunch of parts thrown in the back of it. There's more back by the engine bay. Underneath the dash. Looking down on the hull. You can kind of see how, how rough the wood was. It's like somebody's tried stripping it at one time and, uh, and the project just got Ended from there. There's another picture of it. Kind of haphazard. I ended up not putting any wood in it. Here's, here's a side view of it. Get the glare out of there. I'll open my light. Yeah. Yeah. That's the profile of it. And side angle. And then I started getting into it, stripping all the stuff off of it. And what I'm trying to show in this picture is that uh, right in the center there, you can actually see the writing where the decal was put on where it said Chris Craft Barracuda. Again, more of it right there. I used paint stripper to get all that crap off because it was that all that stuff was in horrible shape. And you can see I got it all stripped down. Uh, I got the top stained. And uh, there's some bottom paint on it. Again, here's another shot of that. Roadrunners parked next to it at the time in the garage. It was before my friend passed away. Actually, it was after, no, it was after, after my friend passed away. And they, they had given me the car. And uh, here is the back, all cleaned up and all stained. Uh, I used tongue oil to clean it up uh, afterwards. All right, let's go walk over to the actual boat. And kind of like with what I do with everything, here's the boat, is I go through them, and uh, for me the fun is restoring them, and then they sit. So, you can tell this one's been sitting since 2006, it's the last registration on it, so it's 2013 now, so we're going on seven years that this has been here. Tires are flat. Yeah, it's got some some weather growing on it. 
but uh, it is a red mahogany is what the what it is and if you look on the side you can kind of see the double cockpit it's all wood it's, got, it's still got the original motor on it it's got a tramp stamp it's got an old flag in the back marine flag Yeah, she's put together. It's got a rear view mirror that's stainless. The air horns. It's got the Chris Craft flag on the front folded up right now. Uh, again, as I said, you can kind of tell it's just been uh, parked. I took it to one show behind a VW Bug in 2006, car and truck show. So. That's her, she's sitting on a trailer that was homemade. Uh, it was an axle out of a, I'm trying to think of what it was. I think he said it was like a 39 Ford or something like that. I don't quite remember, it's got, I got Mopar wheels on it right now. But that's what's gonna be coming out and uh, it needs to kinda go live its life again and uh, stop being just packed away. So all this shit's gotta move. So that I can get it out and um, that will be what uh, today's project is and plus I just made a video of it so I I confirmed that I have to do it now birdies are all gone I took their nest and I put it down there because these wood structures got to come out to be able to get the boat out and they wouldn't have been too happy about that and I did see a, a bird fly out of that nest again so they're reusing it but just on the other end and after all said and done the single cab is gonna come up into here and then this is going in the middle of the tent garage. So we're playing that game where you got one, one space you can move things around. Well, that's what we're gonna be doing. So uh, that's today's project. Uh, stay tuned, we get this thing out of here and uh, get it cleaned up and see if you can get it fired up and just do a good walk around and kind of see what it looks like and see what it looks like on the back of the, uh, the, uh, the bus. And if you notice the colors, uh, that was dark in there, but that, that's that same dark red kind of color on the bottom too it's in the same family of, as with the buses so they should look pretty good uh, next to each other all right guys that's it I'm gonna go uh, get dirty it's nice and cool today about 65 70 degrees right now so I won't be sweating my ass off trying to do this and uh, let's go see where this boat takes us take care